From Grandma Studios inside MVG, it's everybody's game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's Perch Tic Tac Go! And please welcome our host, Turk Ferguson. He's super! Thank you there very, very much, Mr. Travis Coulter. I really appreciate you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to what is a historic moment here in the first season of Turds Tic Tac Doe. We have got a champion that could potentially set a new record here today. He has a, con a, a opponent. Travis, let's go ahead and meet him now, please. First, our champion. He comes to us from New Orleans, Louisiana. His winnings total over $1.49 million. Please meet Jason Myers. And the challenger, coming to us from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. He is a warehouse worker. Probably stayed out a little past his bedtime. Please meet Mark Riotta. All right, Jason Myers. All right. I thought we fixed that. Jeez, man. It's hard to get good help nowadays. Jason, you are back here again. You have 16 wins. You have tied the all-time record for Tic-Tac-Doe here at MVG Productions. And you have yourself so far a grand total of $1,490,000. $485, and you have won three brand new vehicles. As we get ready for this monumental task here in front of you, how do you come in tonight feeling? Sick to my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you have uh, packed away the uh, Pepto today. So just to kind of ease your nerves a little bit, tell everybody out there a little about your stuff. Uh, I'm Jason. I'm a bundle of nerves right now. Nice to meet you. <laughs> well, that's super. So we are going to absolutely wish you the best of luck today in your quest for 17, as we as we, we've been talking about. Um, we know Brandon Scruggs, who is the owner of MVG Productions and is the grandfather of the host here when it comes to all the series here and especially tic tac doe um a few years back on his series he had um a contestant um named erica who was able to win 16 games in a row before she was defeated and jason matched that in the last episode taking down my wife aaron and today he is going to go for win number 17 in the record against this man. He is the Canadian crippled. He is Mark Leota. Mark, how you doing? Hi. Oh, this is going to be a, a doozy for sure. So, uh, Mark, this is your first time this season with us here on Turds Tic Tac Doe. So go ahead and let the uh, audience out there know a little something about yourself. All right, you know, in 30 seconds or less, uh, let's see, 34 years old, game show fan, Pokemon fan, Mario fan, basically fan of video games in general and a whole lot of other good stuff. Let's go. All right, well, I appreciate you getting that all spit out there. So, uh, Mark, here's, uh, here's what you're up against. So far, as I said, Jason has been able to take down 16 different people, and he has done so by beating... 14 unique competitors. So tell me, what makes you unique in your thoughts of being able to take him out here before he is able to break the record? My thought is, well, let's think of it like in sports. Anything can happen on any given day, no matter who's playing who. Well, hey, that is definitely a good way to look at it. Mark, we're going to wish you the best of luck. Now, as we get ready to get our game started tonight, we, of course, always let our challenger pick our two bonus categories. These bonus categories are numbered 1 through 15, so if you would, give me two numbers between 1 and 15. Number 6. 6. And 
Uh, let's go with the number on my hockey jersey, uh, number one. Oh, so okay. the right category, sir. Yep, I figured you were uh, you were going to go with six and nine, your two favorite numbers, but throwing it up a little different tonight. All right, so with that being said, of course, now those will be our red categories here for the first game. So, of course, as we know, we are trying to get three X's or O's in a row, either horizontally, vertically, or diagonally, and we do so by answering trivia questions. And here in our first game tonight, they are in these categories. Math, the jump-in category, 20th century, the comics, potluck, U.S. geography, religion, double or nothing, and the 1970s. All right, so with that there, you see those two red categories. Those are those um, extra special categories, and we'll talk a little bit more about those if they are chosen during our game tonight. All right, Jason, this is it for history. You are our champion. You get first selection. Let's go to work. Start with math. All right, math in the upper left-hand corner. Oh, let's get you a question there. All right, Jason, in math, what is the square root of 144? 12. And that is the correct answer. There you go. $250 in the pot. Our outside box is worth $250. Center is worth $500. And we shuffle. All right, Mark, he has a good start. You got to get on top of it. All right, let's try our luck with the comics, please. All right, the comics in the lower right-hand side. All right, Mark, what comic strip's heroine's birthplace was Paradise Island? Uh, Paradise Island. Uh... Five seconds. No guess. All right, no guess there. All right, that would be Wonder Woman. Oh, Wonder, Wonder Woman. Woman. Yeah. All right. Nothing doing there. 250 in the pot and we shuffle. All right, Jason. What do you do? Math again. All right, math. Lower right hand corner. All right, Jason. If two sides of a right angled triangle are three inches and four inches, how long is the hypotenuse? Uh. 12 inches? No, I'm sorry. It's 5 inches. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, and we shuffle. All right, Mark, we're back over to you. Let's uh, see how I do with math. All right, you're going to take a shot at math in the left center. All right, Mark, how many months are there in three and a quarter years? Three and a quarter years, 39. Yes. And 39 is correct. Well done. $500 in the pot. We shuffle. All right, Jason, back over to you. Let's go potluck. Potluck in the lower right-hand side. All right, Jason. The phrase danger, Will Robinson, comes from what 1960s television show? Lost in Space. And you've got it. $750 is in our pot, and we shuffle. All right, Mark. Big moment here for you. Uh, oh. Much as I kind of wanted to avoid this category, I don't really have a choice right now. Religion in the center. All right, religion in the center box. All right, so with this category here, it will be a two-part question. And since it's a two-part question and it's a little bit harder, it'll be worth $500 to the pot, and you'll get a little extra time to think about it. Now, of course, you need to get this correct to have a diagonal block of Jason. I'm going to need you to give me the two countries that have a form of the orthodox denomination that partly forms the denomination's names. Okay? So with that, you're going to give me two of those, and here comes your extra time to think about it. All right, Mark. So what we went with there is which two countries have a form of the Orthodox denomination that partly forms the denomination's names? Okay. Probably, probably going to be wrong on this, but I'm going to say Ukraine and India. No, I'm sorry. It would be Russia and Greece. Oh. Russia and Greece. All right, so nothing doing there. 
So we have got a very interesting board right here in a very important game historically in this program. We're going to take a commercial break and we'll come back and see what happens in the end right here on Turks Tic Tac Go. Welcome back here to Turds Tic Tac Doe. We have got a fantastic game on our hands. Jason's already got two X's on the board, and Mark has one. We've got $750 in the pot, and we shuffle. All right, Jason, it's your choice. U.S. Geography. All right, Jason, U.S. Geography. If you get this question correct, you will have a diagonal Tic Tac Doe you will have $1,250, which will be added into your winnings, which will bring you to $1,491,685, if my math serves me well. If not, I think I'm actually off by $50, but you got the idea. So, and you will have won your 17th game. And you will stand alone in the pantheon of tic-tac-toe champions. So again, this is going to be a two-part question. Everybody, if you've not done so already, call your family, call your friends, as we may be about to see history. New York City is sometimes known by the name of a legendary English village. So the first question I want you to answer is, what is that name? And the second part, what comic character would also be associated with this name. Here comes your extra time to think about it. All right, Jason, take a deep breath as you think about this. New York City is sometimes known by the name of a legendary English village. So the first part of the question what is the name? Greenwich Village? No, I'm sorry. It's Gotham. Ooh. Which, of course, would be associated Damn with it, Batman. Oh. All right. Oh. So the game is not over, of course. Said. Nothing. Nothing over yet. We shuffle. All right, Mark. He has left the door open for you. Oh, Lord. What do you do? Uh, oh. Yes, I'm Okay. Oh, dear. Let's just go with math. Okay, math in the upper center. Let's get you a question there. A 720 cubic foot room is 10 by 9. What is its height? 10 by 9. Uh, um, 90? I don't know. No, I'm sorry. It would be eight feet. Eight, me. eight, eight feet. Eight times nine times ten. Yeah. Sorry about that, Mark. Nothing doing. Still 750 in the pot. We shuffle. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now the, game, now the board's <laughs> messing with us. Ja uh, Jason, back to you. Let's try this again. U.S. Geography. <laughs> All right. I'm not even going to tease you any here. You know what is at stake. Yeah. So let's again take a look at a two-part question in U.S. Geography. All right, here comes your two-part question. What famous park consists of 840 acres in New York City? And the second part of that is which island is this park located on? Here comes your extra time to think about it. All right, once again, Jason, take that deep breath. The first part of your question, what famous park consists of 840 acres and is located in New York? Central Park. Central Park is correct. For tic-tac-toe, $1,250, and to become the longest reigning champion ever, which island is this park located? Manhattan Island. You've done it! Ladies and gentlemen, 
He has done it. Jason freaking Myers is the longest reigning champion of all time in tic tac toe on oh MVG. Congratulations, game, sir. Good game, man. So we will come back, and, and we have a lot to talk about in just a minute. But first, Mark, my friend, you came in here. You are a very excellent trivia player. There was some there was some difficult questions that came your way. You stuck in it till the very end. Unfortunately, nothing doing there. But then again, you are just the 15th unique person that has went down to this man. So how are you feeling at the end of that game? Well... I gotta be honest, at least getting 1-0 on the board is better than nothing at all, which is kind of what I was expecting in all honesty, in all honesty, considering who I was up against. But, again, one's better than nothing. Jason, uh, well done, sir. Thank you. Good game. All right, so, Jason... Congratulations on win number 17. Jason, you've had just a little time to let this sink in that you now hold the record for most consecutive wins in Tic-Tac-Doe and MVG Productions with 17. How do you feel? Like the uh, weight was kind of lifted off my shoulders. Well. But I still feel another weight. <laughs> well, I think I can help you de-stress just a little bit. Jason Meyer, Myers, <laughs> I think it's very important that a, that a moment like this is not just celebrated with, hey, you won 17, but I believe it deserves a little something more. So, Jason Myers, for your 17th win, you uh-huh. are winning the St. Lawrence 20-foot spin. This spot actually seats 17 people. It has 73 luxurious jets, three river jets. It has LED lighting, a cascading waterfall, aromatherapy, and Bluetooth audio. And this St. Lawrence Spa has netted you $37,500. Wow. And our admiration and thanks from Turd's Tic Tac Doe. What do you think? I, I I don't know what to say. Uh, He's speechless. Yeah, just a little bit speechless. Yeah. It is all uh, yours, sir. Uh, and and I made sure that that thing seventeen is your new lucky number, and it seats seventeen people. <laughs> exactly. So with that, we add that up with what you won in the last game, and you have broke the one point five million dollar mark. You have one million five hundred and twenty nine thousand two hundred and thirty five dollars. Oh my god. Now while you are overwhelmed with that, your old pal Fluffy is over there lurking and he's waiting. Are you ready to go take him on now? Sure, why not? Let's do it. <laughs> All right, Jason Myers, you have done it now. You are ready to go up against Fluffy. He is none too happy. Of course, here at his board, we've got our nine numbered boxes. Behind them, we've got our dollar amounts. We want you to find $1,000 or more before you find that dragon. If so, we will give you $50,000. You'll see the tick and tack flashing up there. You get those at any time through your time at the bonus game. We'll give you the money as well. But here at Turd's Tic Tac Doe, we like to amp it up just a little extra. Find Tick and Tack in your first two choices in either order, and we will double it, just as you know, because you did it in your first win here, and we'll give you another $100,000. All right, so with that being said, there is only one thing to say, and Jason, how about you say it? Sheamus, one order of shoe play, please. <laughs> All right, we've got everything hidden back there. Jason, go win some money. Stay away from eight. Three. All right. Starting in box three. Hopefully that will be your tree of happiness and not the tree of woe. Seamus, what's behind box three? There's. Oh, here we go. (laughs) After his 17th win, can he 
do it again. He did it in his first win. Can he do it in the monumental win? Jason Myers, go find Tick for a hundred thousand dollars. Eight. Box number eight. That is another Dragon's place cave. of woe. Dragon's Cave. And that is exactly what was said last time. They were chanting for the Dragon's Cave. Man, Jason, we hope to give you a little bit more money. <laughs> Seamus, has he won another 100K? Oh, oh. oh, oh. All right, got $100. So now I've got to ask you. I think I know what you're going to do, but you've got 100. I'll give you 100 to go face your next opponent. Or do you want to go on? I'll keep going. All right, he goes on. Where are we going next? <sighs> one. All right, box number one. This one's at the top of the charts. Let's see if it gets you a nice amount of money or even possibly tick to win the game. Seamus, box one. All right, 400. We're halfway there. I'll give you 500 to stop and go face your next opponent. I keep going. All right. There are two boxes up there right now that will give you $50,000. Two. All right, box number two. Let's hope that Fluffy does not drop the deuce on you. Seamus, box two, please. There's 300. Okay. Now things are getting more. Other than Fluffy and one other box, there are three up there right now that will give you the win in 50K. Do you want 800 to walk away? Do you think your luck is running short? Or do you push on? I'll keep going. All right. Where's that lucky number? Seven. Box number seven. That goes right along with win number 17. Let's see. Will you take that cane that is number seven and beat Fluffy over the head with it? Let's find out. Seamus, box seven. Oh! Oh. All right. Jason, there's a lot of hard thinking to do here. You got 950. You're only $50 away. You have a three out of four chance of winning another $50,000. But Fluffy is lurking, and there is a 25% chance you are going to hit him. 950 to walk away. I came this far. I might as well go out swinging. All right. Don't find him. Five. Box number five. We are going to hope that Fluffy was not lazy in this round. Let's find out. Seamus, is he a winner? You got it. Got it. There you go. The, the hits just keep coming is yeah. all I can say. We add that in with your previous winnings. You are now at one million five hundred and seventy nine thousand two hundred and thirty five dollars. All right, audience, real quick, go ahead and yell out to me. Where's Fluffy at? Nine. Four. Okay, we got, I, I heard several nines. I heard a four and I heard a six. Let's see, let's see where he was six. at. Ah, oh, he was in four. Ooh. Tick was down in nine. That would have gave you the hundred k. But, hey, you got 50, and I think you're happy with everything that's happened so far. We're going to take a quick commercial break, and when we come back, Jason meets his next opponent. Hey, maybe he can get 18. We'll find out here on Turk Stick Tag Night. Oh, my God. All right, everybody, we're back here on Turk Stick Tag Night. Jason. You have got yourself $1.52 million. You have got to be feeling good. Just a little bit, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, you've got the record. Now let's see if you can add on to it and hit number 18. Travis Coulter, let's meet his next opponent. All right, our next opponent comes to us from Tallahassee, Florida. He is an IT support specialist. Please welcome Braden. Hi. All right, Brayden D's coming on to us all the way from sunny Tallahassee. I, ju I ju <coughs> just messed that all up. I'm too, I'm too excited tonight. Tallahassee, Florida. Brayden, welcome to Turds Tic Tac Doe. How are you doing? I'm 
I am about 50 milligrams into some sleeping pills, so, uh... Nah, you're into some good, good shit. Feeling pretty good. <laughs> well, go ahead and tell us a little something about yourself before you really get loopy. Uh, well, it might be a little too late for that, but <laughs> I, I am an IT logistics specialist. I work for one of the largest cannabis dispensary companies in the United States. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I signed a non-disclosure agreement, so I will not go much further into that. <laughs> and uh, I am the father of a four-year-old with orange fur and ah, four paws. There you go. Wow. Good for you there. This is your first time on uh, Turd's Tic Tac Doe over here at MVG. What do you think you have that the other 17 people that have gotten defeated didn't have? Absolute jack shit. <laughs> <laughs> I love to hear it. Well, we wish you the best of luck here on oh, the show. <laughs> yeah, fi- we're going to find out in a moment. <laughs> All right. Oh, so. no. On card charts. No, That's kidding. right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So as you know, we allow the challenger to select the two bonus categories. So if you'll give me two numbers between one and 15. Okay. Four and eight. Four and eight. All right, so we are ready to get started. Of course, we're trying to get three X's and O's in a row, either horizontally, vertically, or diagonally. We're going to do that by answering trivia questions. And in this game, these are our categories. Celebrities, the challenge category, the Bible, Disney, Middle East, the 1960s, toys and games, opponent's choice, and quotations. All right, and as you see, the two red categories that are there flashing, those are those extra special ones that Braden just chose. If you chose it, Choose these during the game. Man, I'm way too excited after everything's happened tonight. I'm going to have to go over there at Jason's house and relax in this video, too. So, <laughs> if you select those red categories, we'll talk to talk to you more about it at that time. All right, Jason, you are our champion. Let's go to work. Toys and games. Toys and games in the lower left-hand corner. Let's see what we got for you there. What doll is the sister of Raggedy Andy? Raggedy Ann. Raggedy Ann is correct. Well done. $250 added to the pot. And we show. <laughs> All right, Brayden, your first time here on the show. Where do you want to start at? Disney. All right, Disney in the upper right-hand side. What 1979 live-action Disney film was about a spaceship that discovers a gravi- gravitational vortex as they are returning to Earth? 1979? Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Uh, that's going to be wrong. What is uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey? No, no I'm sorry. It's actually The Black no. Hole. The Black Hole. Wow, that's... Wow, specifically synopsis movie is specifically titled... Yeah, the gravitational vortex. Absolutely. All right, nothing doing there. We got 250 in the pot, and we shuffle. All right, Jason, back over to you. Uh, Let's try celebrities. All right, celebrities in the center. Of course, this is going to be a two-part question, and since it's two-part, it'll be a little bit harder. We'll give you extra time to think about it, and it will be worth $500 to the pot. First part of your question, who was the host of The Tonight Show before Jay Leno? And the second part of the question, Tell me who his sidekick was. All right, here comes your extra time to think about it. All right, Jason, so the first question we asked you, who was the host of The Tonight Show before Jay Leno? Johnny Carson. Johnny Carson is correct. And to take that center box, who was his sidekick? Hello, Ed McMahon. You are correct, sir. $750 is in the pot, and we shuffle. All right, Braden, he's got himself a good lead here. You need to cut him off at the pass. Challenge category. All right, the challenge category in the upper right-hand side. This is one of our special ones. All right, so, Braden, since you selected this, you are either going to choose to answer this question yourself, or you'll be able to challenge... Jason to answer the question. Okay? If you challenge him and he answers it correctly, he will have a diagonal tic-tac-toe. Okay? 
If he answers incorrectly on a challenge, you would get the box and have a successful block. If you go for it yourself, get it correct, you have the block. If you get it wrong, then nobody gets the box. Okay? Okay. So, with that being said, all right, Braden, so here's the question. Which American heavy metal band released the song Nothing Else Matters in 1992? So, would you like to answer that question, or would you like to challenge Jason to answer? I'm going to answer the question. All right, so, again, which American heavy metal band released the song Nothing Else Matters in 1992? So, for a diagonal block of Jason, name this band. Metallica. And you've got the block. $1,000 is in the pot, and we shuffle. All right, Jason, we're back over to you. Uh, hmm. Let's try quotations. All right, quotations over in the center right. All right, so I'm going to give you a famous quotation, and you are going to tell me either if it you're either going to name the famous person, TV show, or movie that it came from. Okay. Okay. So in this one. Your quote is, they're back. So what movie did this come from? Poltergeist. Poltergeist is a correct answer. $1,250 in the pocket shop. All right, Braden, where do you want to go? Middle East. All right, Middle East over in the middle left. Need to get this question correct to have a horizontal block of Jason. What is the name of the organization that several Middle Eastern countries belong to that help control the price and production of oil? For the horizontal block of Jason, name this organization. Oh, God, is it OPEC? And you've got the block. Oh, $1,500 is in the pot. We're going to take a quick commercial break and come back and see what happens right here on Turns. I was the only oil. All right, welcome back here to Tire Stick Tack Go. We've got a heck of a game on our hands. We've got $1,500 in the pot. We just had Braden with a successful block of Jason. Means it's coming back to you, Jason. Here's your shuffle. All right, where would you like to go? Toys and games. All right, toys and games in the lower center. All right, Jason, what toy would you need if you were playing a game called Double Dutch? Jump rope. Jump rope is correct. Well done. Seventeen fifty in the pot. That bo- that board is loading up, and we shuffle. All right, Braden, we're back over to you. What do you do? Hmm. <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> Challenge paid off before, but I'm pretty comfortable with the Bible. Oh, God. Uh, let's go. The Bible. All right. The Bible. All right. Need to get this question correct to have a vertical block of Jason once again. All right. So I'm going to give you this famous biblical quote, and I'm going to need you to finish it. All right. Mm-hmm. Blessed are the poor in spirit. So, for the vertical block of Jason, finish that quote. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. It's in Matthew 5. And you've got your block. I am the son of a Baptist preacher. (laughs) (laughs) $2,000 is in this pot, and we shuffle. Jason, you might have the record, but you've got your hands full as well. What do you want to do? Let's go with the 1960s. All right, the 1960s. Jason, get this question correct in the 1960s. You will have a horizontal tic-tac-toe. You will have another $2,250 added to your winnings, which, yeah, we got to have a bigger calculator to figure that one out. For what record label did the Supremes, the Temptations, and the Four Tops record for in the 1960s? For Tic Tac Doe and your 18th win, name this record label. Motown. 
You have tic tac toe. Oh. <laughs> Good game, Brady. Congratulations. People continue to throw everything short of the kitchen sink at oh. Jason Myers, and every single time he comes to battle with, I guess, the, the Infinity Stones and knocks them clean back out of this game. Jason, well done. You've got win number 18. We'll come back and talk with you in just a moment. Braden Dees, man, you came in here, and you absolutely, you have impressed me. I knew of your skill, but you impressed me going up against such a prolific champion here on Turd Stick Tac Doe. And I'm pretty sure I could say, and, and I could even let him say it, that Jason is probably well impressed with you as well. How do you mm-hmm. feel at the end of the game tonight? Uh you know, a little disappointed that I got that first question wrong, but I mean, that just goes to show you that anything can happen, uh, but I absolutely enjoyed myself, and, you know, Jason is an incredibly formidable opponent, and I have had the honor of playing against him and being his 18th defeat, so congratulations to him. Thank you for having me on the show. This was a lot of fun. It was great having you here, and this, again, I, I, I know I beat this one into the ground, but this is... Not only Jason's 18th win now, it is also his 16th unique opponent here at MVG that he has taken down. So, Braden, we thank you so much for being here. We give you the $250 for each one of those boxes you got, so you're going to walk away with $750. And we hope to see you again back on another episode of Turd's Tic Tac Doe. Thank you. Good night. Good night. All right, so, Jason... You now have yourself in cash and prizes a total of one million five hundred and thirty one thousand four hundred and eighty five dollars. And after this break, you are gonna go up against Fluffy once again to see if you can break him down mind, body, spirit, and economically, right here on Turd's Tic Tac Doe. Come back and see us, guys. Back here on Turd's Tic Tac Doe, I would like to make a quick uh, adjustment to the score. We had accidentally left off some of Jason's money. He is actually at $1,581,485. So we do apologize there. We do want to make sure he gets every last cent, which may actually be owning this entire studio. But... <laughs> And if, if he doesn't slow down his wins, he's actually going to own the dragon, and Brandon is going to be really pissed. All right, so with that being said, are you ready to go no, up against Fluffy again? Me <laughs> you ready to go see Fluffy again? Sure. All right, let's do it. Right, Jason, this is your 20th time over here. You finally got off a little bit of a schneid that you were on last time. Of course, you got your nine number boxes. Behind them, you got your dollar amounts. Get $1,000 or more before you find old Fluffy there. We're going to give you 50 k And, of course, find the Tick and Tack. We'll give you the money. And you find Tick and Tack in your first two choices. We'll give you 100 k All right, so with that being said, there's only one thing to say, and that is my favorite word, which is Shuffle! <laughs> All right, so Jason, let's, work, let's just go to work, my friend. Nine. All right, yeah, box nine. That, that right there is our little uh, our little gas nozzle. Luckily, you've got yeah. all the money you've got because you're going to need a whole lot of it just to fill your tank up with gas at current prices. Seamus, yeah. <laughs> show us yeah, what's behind box nine. Point. All right, $100. Ooh. That'll get you about one tank right now. So, <laughs> so Jason, you want to take that hundred and move on, or do you want to keep going? Let's keep going. All right, he's going to go on. Where are we going next? Three. All right, three, up to the, the tree of woe. Let's hope it's no woe for you this time. Seamus, box three. All right, there's 500 All right, so we're at $600. There is a dollar amount up there right now that will give you the win. You want to take 600 and walk away, or do you want to keep going? Keep going. He goes on. He'll be mean if he finds a 300. Six. 
<laughs> All right, box six. He's looking to go in a straight row. Let's see. It's four hundred dollars back there. Shame us, show us. Oh no, but we found tick. So now you've got two boxes that you could win. With. So I'll ask you again. Six hundred dollars to walk away. Let's keep going. All right, he goes on. Seven. Box seven, we know you like to take that cane and beat the living hell out of Fluffy. Let's see if you can do it again. <laughs> Does he have 50K? Seamus, show us. No, oh, but you have $150. All right, so that opens you up a little bit. You've got a couple of more boxes now that can get you the win. So where do you, do you want to take 750 and walk away, or are you still pushing on? I'll keep going. All right. Where's your winning number? Four. Box four. We, of course, know this is Nels' favorite place to sit, the upside-down bar stool. Yeah. So for $50,000, is he a winner, Seamus? Please tell us. <laughs> you got it. Got it. All the time. <laughs> Jason freaking Myers with another big win here in the bonus game we are going to add that fifty thousand dollars on with what he already had which now brings him to a total of one million six hundred thirty one thousand four hundred and eighty five dollars all right oh man <laughs> so so Braden, if you if you still happen to be over there we've got four boxes up on the board Right now, I will give you $1,000 if you can tell me in one choice where Fluffy is. He is a number eight. All right. You think he's down in the dungeon. All right, Seamus, show us. Does Brayden have an extra 1000 to his total? No, oh, he was in the oh, five. That lazy son of a... You know what? And if anybody knows lazy, it is you, Nails. All right. <laughs> so, Jason, my friend... You have absolutely clobbered anything and everything in your way today, all the way up to now having over $1.63 million. My friend, how does it feel? I'm still trying to process it all. <laughs> well, I've got an idea for you to help you process. While you're sitting in your spa, make sure you got your phone with you and you can design a very, very special onesie that you can send all the way up to Minnesota. And on that onesie, it'll say, I got my ass kicked by Jason on Turd's Tic Tac Doe. <laughs> and maybe, just maybe, it will finally shut him up. But I'm sure we all know yeah, that no. shit ain't happening. No. Well, Jason, you will come back again with us next time. And next time... It will be another special episode because if you can win two more games, you are going to be looking for your 20th win. And Jason, if you can notch win number 20, preview time, you are going to win a 2022 Tesla Model 3 Performance Edition. Oh my God. Yes, this car will run you right at $58,000. But to do that, you've got to come back and defeat two more opponents. So we would like to thank everybody once again for watching and supporting Turd's Tic Tac Doe right here on the MVG Television Network. For all of us here at MVG and Grandma Studios, I'm your host, Tur Turd Ferguson, and you sure as hell aren't. We'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Turd, Turd Ferguson. <laughs>
to help him dig out of the hole that he keeps getting himself in here at MVG. And also one lucky contestant. Was it stolen from Jason? Oh, shut up! <laughs> and also one lucky, and also one lucky uh, audience member would get uh, a flat tire from every tire first from Jason. You say something. Alright, y'all, I'm gonna head off a bit. This was a lot of fun, thanks for having me. Bye, Brad. Good night. So, can we just rename the studios to Jason Myers Studios? We could, but we gotta do that in a moment. Tic Tac Toe, that's hers, is a Grandma Studios production in association with MVG Productions. Nels, how'd you climb out of the salt mine? <laughs> <laughs>